monochrome finish spherical cable car cabins, customized for Singapore Cable Car SCC, will take passengers between Mount Faber and Sentosa Island from March 20. These futuristic balls with glass bottom floors. Called Skyob Cabins, mark yet another world first for the company as it celebrates its 50th anniversary in 2024. In 1998, it was the first in the world to launch sky dining in a cable car. The following year, to commemorate its 25th anniversary, it introduced the world's first glass bottom cable car cabins, which offered clear views of the harbour and seascape south of Singapore. The seven new Skyorb cabins will join the existing fleet of 67 on the Mount Faber line connecting Mount Faber and Sentosa Island. They will light up the night sky with the ring of lights around the cabin windows that change colors for different occasions. Double window louvers at the front and triple window louvers at the rear of the sky orb provide enhanced air ventilation. Measuring 2.5 m tall and 2.3 m wide, each cabin can seat up to six guests. The sky orb is SCC's fifth generation of cable cars since the attraction was launched in 1974. It costs an additional $15 per person to ride one way in the Skyob on weekdays and an additional $20 per person on weekends and public holidays. A round-trip cable car Sky Pass, inclusive of the Mount Faber Line and Sentosa Line, currently costs $35 for adults and $25 for children on all days. The Skyob cabins will not ply the Sentosa line, which takes riders only across the island from Imbaya Lookout Station to Siloso Point Station. Miss Grace Fu, Minister in Charge of Trade Relations, officially launched the Skyorb cabins on the Mount Faber line on March 15. In 2024, tourism is expected to recover to pre-COVID levels and we expect to welcome up to 16 million visitors to our shores she said at the event in Mount Faber Peak. In 2023, Singapore's international visitor arrivals reached 13.6 million, buoyed by the return of large-scale events such as the Formula One Singapore Grand Prix and LIV Golf Tournament. And the opening of new hotels like Mondrian Singapore Duxton and Pan Pacific Orchard and new attractions like Bird Paradise. The tourism sector contributes 4% to Singapore's gross domestic product and employs around 72. 000 people, added Miss Fu, who is also Minister for Sustainability and the Environment. However, Singapore will continue to face headwinds as it looks to become a leading tourist destination. She said. Economic uncertainty continues to put a dampener on travel spending, with less discretionary income spending by consumers. Regional competition will also make it increasingly difficult for Singapore to stand out among its neighbours. It is therefore important that we continuously refresh and develop world-class tourism products to remain competitive in the face of strong competition and economic uncertainty. Ms Fu said. Besides recently launched experiences on Sentosa like the Harry Potter, Forbidden Forest Experience and Sensory Skate, Resorts World Sentosa will be progressively opening new attractions there. Such as Minion Land, the Singapore Oceanarium and Super Nintendo World, over the next few years. There are also upcoming developments along the Greater Southern Waterfront, from Peza Panjang to Marina East which will comprise housing, recreational and entertainment options, Ms Fu said. Mr Buddy Bok, Managing Director of Mount Faber Leisure Group MFLG, which operates SCC, said the discussion for the Skyorb cabins started about five years ago. The cabins are collaboratively designed by MFLG and cable car cabin manufacturer CWA, which is based in Olten, Switzerland. The entire process, from idea generation and preliminary design to engineering and technical feasibility and finally, manufacturing, involve navigating not just the typical design and engineering hurdles, 
but also the unexpected challenges of a global pandemic, Mr. Box said. The world's first reflective exterior transforms each cabin into a dazzling spectacle. Reflecting sunlight and adding a touch of futuristic element to the skyline. With glass bottom floors providing breathtaking panoramic views, the journey becomes an immersive experience. He added. SCC declined to reveal the cost of each Skyorb cabin. MFLG and CWA have been in partnership since the first generation of Singapore's cable car cabins, which were launched in 1974 by then Deputy Prime Minister Go Keng Sui. In 1994, the pioneering cabins were replaced by the second generation, which boasted higher speeds, increased ventilation, and the playing of audio commentaries about landmarks and highlights of Sentosa Island. Five years later came the glass bottom cabins. In 2009, the cable car system was revamped for the fourth time with a fleet comprising 67 LED illuminated, sparkling metallic black and chrome cabins on a mono cable ropeway that links Mount Faber to Harbourfront Tower and Sentosa Island. SCC has seen more than 60 million riders since 1974. In 2023, the combined ridership for the Mount Faber and Sentosa lines was over 2 million. Tickets for the Skyorb cabins will be available for sale at the SCC Mount Faber and Sentosa station ticketing counters from March 20. The cable cars operate from 8.45am to 10pm daily.